Hey everyone, it's Boki here with Gigi's Fabric Shop and Juki Junkies, and I am here with the HCL Juki DX7, and I'm here to introduce you to her and talk about why she is so special. So this is going to be a computerized machine, meaning that it has a computerized component and it allows you to do tons of stitches, and I mean tons. You get 287 built-in stitches on this machine, including four fonts. It comes with 14 different accessories so you can easily do those stitches without any problem and really explore the amazing um, capabilities of this machine. Let's get a little bit up close and personal with those stitches, shall we? Here you see some of the stitches and they're categorized in groups. Here you see some stitches that are combined. So this machine lets you combine some stitches, like this is stitch pattern number 74 and 75, and it gives you this kind of lace looking um, stitch out. And then up here you can see the options available for your buttonhole. You get a really amazing automatic buttonhole with this machine that allows you to adjust it with your stabilizing plate to any button that you can fit in the um, in the presser foot and then here you have all your built-in fonts which are so beautiful and stitch out literally quite amazing these are some of my favorite fonts that I have seen on some of our Juki machines another really great feature about this machine is the lighting so you're gonna get two LED lights you're gonna get one right in this throat space area and you're gonna get one right underneath your needle area so that area is nice and illuminated for your sewing with all those stitch patterns, you have the capability of saving up to 10 customizable designs onto this machine that you can pull up at any given time if you find yourself using them more often than not. Let's talk about some of the key features in this machine that make it so special. The DX7 sews at a speed of 1,050 stitches per minute, so really nice and fast. Here you have your start-stop function that allows you to sew on the machine without a foot pedal. You have your reverse, you have your lock stitch and you have your speed control here from tortoise to the hair. You have your um, thread cutter, you have your needle up and down and you have your presser foot up and down. So you don't have to always do it manually. You can do it with this button right here. One of the really amazing things about this machine is it has a pivoting function. Since this can go up automatically, you can take that to your advantage when you're doing applique work or you're doing really detailed quilting or anything along those lines. You can sew on this machine and the presser foot will raise by itself. The needle will stay down, allowing you to easily pivot without having to use your knee lifter, which you can plug in right there, or without using this or the hand manual option on the backside. So let me demonstrate. All right, so here I have just some ordinary cotton um, fabric that I have folded over in two. I have my seat speed set about almost right about halfway and I have glide 40 weight thread on this machine in the color white. I'm going to use my start and stop function to show you guys how this presser foot lifts by itself. I'm going to press go, put my presser foot down and watch her sew and watch what happens when I stop. The presser foot raises up by itself. The needle stays inside the fabric allowing me to be able to turn my fabric with no hesitation and move on to my next project. Here it goes, one more time. Another great key feature on the DX7 that I wanna highlight is the floating function. This button right here, once it's engaged, it'll show up on your screen. It will raise the presser foot pressure up for you while sewing so you're not applying as much pressure to the fabric. So if you are straight line quilting, this is really gonna help in alleviating some of those ripples that you see um, when you're doing maybe a diamond pattern or if you're doing straight lines. Um, it'll really relieve that rippling and make it finish a lot nicer. Um, if you're working with bags or um, doing rope bags, um, I got asked that the other day. Um, if you're working with anything with thick layers, those medium bags, anything like that, this is gonna be great in feeding that material a lot easier and smoother through this machine if you just raise that um, pressure up a little bit. And then when you're done with it and you you don't want it all you got to do is turn it off and it's that easy you can turn it on and off and adjust the height in increments of one to really help you out in sewing another great thing to highlight is the foot pedal so obviously when we press the foot pedal forward we're gonna get pedal to the metal and then when we heel click it's going to cut the thread but also you get to decide 
up to seven different functions of what you want the heel to do. You can either turn the heel off completely, you can have it go forward, backward, um, do your lock stitch, needle up and down, do a single stitch. There's lots of great things to choose from so the foot pedal is as handy as possible in making your sewing experience a lot easier. To highlight a few more key features on this machine, you have a needle threader located right here to thread the needle for you. You do have twin needle functionality on this machine, so you can use a twin needle. Your bobbin winder is right here, and it has an auto declutch, so it'll declutch when the bobbin is fully winded, and it has an independent motor for that as well. You have your tension right here, which has an auto tension. It has three little increments to this where your tension should be happy within that little area. And if it's not, then you have a long list of things to go through before we start touching that tension dial. And I'm really considering making one for you guys. And last but not least, one of my favorite features on this machine is the two-in-one stitch plate. You have a nice, easy drop-in bobbin here, so you don't have to pull up your bobbin before sewing. It has a one, two, three kind of system, and you cut the thread and you're ready to go. But the needle plate is a two-in-one needle plate, meaning that it has a jelly bean opening to achieve all of these gorgeous stitches that I showed you previously. But then when you wanna get into straight stitch mode and you wanna make that hole a little bit smaller, there's a little lever right under this plate that you slide over and there's a slot that'll go over the jelly bean to make the hole smaller so it can only do a straight stitch. So only go forward and backward. And that's gonna be great for piecing or working with those fine fabrics if you're a garment sewer so you don't have to worry about it getting sucked down into the machine. Another thing that I wanna highlight on this machine is the way that the, this Juki machine feeds its material through. It goes in a box formation. Most Traditional machines go in a oval or circular motion. And since this is a box feed system, this is really great for the person who wants to have consistent defined stitches, just like you see here on my sample, especially paired with glide thread. It looks amazing. Um, so as we've highlighted some of the really keen features on this machine, who is this machine for? This machine is perfect for the person who's doing a little bit of everything. Maybe wants to play with bags, does a little quilting, maybe does a little garment sewing. This is a great all-purpose machine with all the spoiling features so you don't grow out of the machine. It's also great for the person who's the quilter and needs something reliable with beautiful stitches for piecing, quilting. You get an extension table with this machine as well so you can um, have a larger work area. It's also really great for the person who's maybe working with medium weight bags. You know, you're doing something with cotton, foam, maybe a little bit of denim, a little bit of cork. This machine's gonna be able to handle those medium weight amounts of um, cotton and a little bit of leather, faux leather, a little bit of vinyl, things like that. Nothing too heavy, but it'll definitely go through those medium amounts of material. This is also a great machine for the person who's doing garment sewing. You have a free arm here where this comes out. So you have a smaller little workspace to get onto those sleeves. You have those overcasting stitches so you can do kind of like a, um, an overcasting effect on your, on your knits and things that you're working on. This is a really wonderful all-purpose machine for anyone who wants to be spoiled with the key features that the DX7 has to offer. I hope that you guys found this video helpful in introducing you to the DX7. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us by email at sewingmachines, with an S, sewingmachines411 at gmail.com, or feel free to give us a call here at the shop and ask for Gigi or Boki and helping you make the right decision for which machine is best for you. The shop's phone number is going to be 813-661-9000. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.